Hello, YouTube. That was perfect. Yeah, I know. I'm a pro. And it could have been on YouTube, but it isn't. <laughs> so we can play music. Let's play music. <laughs> no, now we're on YouTube. No. Let's play music. I play music all day. I want it. I want to hear it broken down, just like it what, was uh, broken down in. in you want me to uh, hear the, what, You want us to break down the music you play? I don't think you want no. me to do that. Well, we heard Ed Sheeran. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah. <laughs> See the guy who sounds like a girl. No, he doesn't sound like a girl. Well, kind of. <laughs> well, a little bit. It's kind of wussy rock, isn't it? Wussy music. No, he does all different I kinds think he's of a music. Wuss. Puss. He's hey, very talented. At least he goes out and entertains. He doesn't lecture you and tell you, tell you to F off. Yeah, I'll give you that one. But he also <laughs> has never written Dark Side of the Moon. I know. <laughs> He's also never ruined it. Right. Well, that's true. <laughs> Two sides to every coin, right? So I, I go to, uh, we go out to eat. We eat We eat our lunch. Hold on, Karn. We eat our lunch. We go to Cheddar's. Okay. Uh, scratch. Remember it's Chubby called, Cheddar's? Yeah, yeah, Scratch Kitchen. Yeah, blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. yeah. I ordered uh, the little sirloin with uh, shrimp. I looked at the picture. There's there's this uh, juicy sirloin and just a ton of shrimp. Yum. And, yeah. Yeah, well, the, the sirloin was smaller than a, a quarter pounder. And it, you could have used the Heartlanders could have used it as a pot. What was it, like a five-ounce sirloin? <laughs> Probably. Uh, it was supposed to be a six, and it wasn't. Okay. Yeah. And the uh, shrimp, there were like four shrimp. It was terrible. Jan got the wrong order. And yeah. I, they call it uh, scratch because I think the, the meat was scratched from a race. I mean, it was bad. So you weren't happy. I couldn't cut it. And so you do. And they don't it. advertise, do they? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm just double checking so I know what to say. What happens if they advertise? Now, if they were oh, an advertiser, it was no. small suitor, but it, it was the best taste and the service was incredible. Well, I get me. Jan and I it, felt like a king and a queen when we were out I there. would say something like, it, it probably tasted good, but I couldn't cut it with a knife. Oh, it was really tough, too? I, honest to God, I couldn't cut it with a knife. Wow. So I, then you didn't eat the steak. So no. you ate four shrimp for dinner? Four shrimp, well, no. Because we went to Tyson's to pick up dog food, and I got a big bag of uh, tater skins. You should have just eaten the <laughs> steak with your hand, just like, you know, chew off. Like a Viking. Nah. Yeah, nah. Off. Yeah, or like a chew toy. for. <laughs> See, I wouldn't go to a place like that and order that. I'd order a burger at a place like Cheddar's. Yeah, yeah usually. Yeah, it wasn't good. I think I've been there maybe once in my life. You know, like in a big tent town, I can't remember. It's just the one out there off the interstate. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. been there a couple of times. It's okay. Oh, we've eaten there before, yeah. and it was okay. It wasn't, I w you know, I wouldn't say. It seems it like a burger is always pretty safe though in a place like that. Yeah, you would think. I wanted we. That's our dinner. Steak we did, and shrimp. We, we, we freaking Joseph. If you want I had a great dinner last night though. Tater skins. Well, I had tater skins for lunch because oh. I didn't eat lunch. No, I had a McRib. Oh, oh God, it was God. good. It was delicious. That's my third. I this you've been on the my, toilet all night. That's my third this No. <laughs> you've had three McRibs this week? Yes. That is, that's just. That's Hello. nauseating. That's disturbing. Hello. Hey. Hi, Karn. I hope you find better food. Anyway, um, what did you think of the men last night? It was not there. Dallas covered it. Um. The I would say the opponent was better than I was expecting. They were more athletic, and there was absolutely no flow to that game whatsoever. It was... I will say DeSante Bone has 17 assists and one turnover after four games. Yeah, he's he looked real good last That's night. That's what Dallas said. Dallas said he looked really good. And Cricky was good on the offensive end, too, real good. There were moments of good, and then there were moments of... It looks like Little League Baseball. Well, they looked like the women, too. They could not buy could not a three-point basket. Threes. Nope. What's nope. with this business of not hitting threes? I don't know, but I mean, it happens. They, it does happen, but uh, they need to figure it out because we're going to need to make some There's going to be games where they don't hit threes. Yeah. I mean, that's just the way the world works. Well, they'll tell the world to stop working I mean, that way. It happens way. to the NBA teams all the time. It you does. Know? I mean, that's just that's why yeah, they're three-pointers. I've noticed that in, in NBA, too, that... Sometimes their threes just aren't there. Well, they give a, an extra point for that shot for a reason, because they're harder yeah, to make. Yeah, that's true. 
Yeah, I think yeah. they made more threes when they were just counted as twos. Well, Rick Mount did. Yeah. <laughs> What would that score have been if those had been threes? Oh my God! Yeah, it would be would have been one hundred and forty to yeah one hundred and thirty seven. Because I I remember watching that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was quite the game. Yeah, you won't forget that one. Yeah, and then now today, uh, you figure we'll win. Well, I hope so. I mean, <laughs> you got to play the games. Um, there's a lot riding. Uh, on the game for the Hawkeyes for sure and uh, Illinois needs a win as well my sister and I are thinking that this will probably be our last game that we go to I'll, I'll go to the kids games in the, in the uh, spring practice but it's just so hard the parking is expensive it's hard getting around the seats that we sit in are bad people are constantly standing if everybody would sit down you can see the field but they're standing i can't see anything you're watching it off the video and wow. the problem with watching it off the video is you might as well be at home iowa marketing your own. iowa, iowa, marketing iowa sports marketing everybody really <laughs> <laughs> you know what would brighten your day a uh, nice delicious mcrib what would brighten my day would be a nice cushy chair in this in the stadium to sit in <laughs> And everybody around me setting down. So do you get the seat backs? No, the person next to me never comes and they have their seat backs. But when I sit in them, there it pushes you forward. And uh, I don't like their seat backs. They're not comfortable. I've seen some comfortable ones, but the ones they have aren't. Well, they're better than the ice-cold metal. Well, yeah, but I bring my own cushion. Sounds uh, like it's time for you to stay home. Uh, it could be. <laughs> You a little checklist there and the old Ben Franklin method. And, and then when you sit in the middle and everybody has to go somewhere and they're constantly traping across the front of your feet and hitting you in the back, you know, it's it's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it, you yeah. could have reached uh, the time of the point of no return. <laughs> anyway. You guys have a good day, and let's hope for a win. Let's hope. Thanks, Karen. Okay, bye. <laughs> All the reasons to not attend <laughs> live events starring Karen. <laughs> I'm not a big live event person, so I'm not going to comment. <laughs> well, that's I, are downsides. Just, I miss it terrible. I really do, uh, but I can't do it anymore with my arthritis. Yeah. Problems. I got problems. I don't have that many problems. Well, (laughs) no, just, I mean, I get what you're saying, but you you don't want your fans sitting down the whole time in a football game. No, you don't. No. You want them standing and cheering and having a good time, and, I, you know, you got to find that balance, but I think maybe she should just stay home. Well, she did. That's what she said. She said maybe it's time, and maybe it is. And, though, you know, hopefully they can replace her. If not, TV money will make up for those empty seats. They'll replace her. Yeah. I well, think they'll replace her. Yeah. It's, yeah if, if you just go there for, you know, the wins or whatever, you either go there for the event and, you know, the people around you or. Uh, that's or, what or, I, or you watch, that, stay yeah, home and watch a TV yeah, show. Yeah, that's what I miss about yeah. it is the people, exactly. you know, in our section. I miss Buddy, and, and uh, but I miss the, the rest of the people too. Miss Texas Bowl guy? Uh, I hate him. <laughs> He was over at our house the other day. Why? Do you, you know, I will never understand this. Uh, you know, you you are a great judge of character. You've been more right about people than I have been because I always, you know, take the, yeah. take the, uh, I don't, you know, but. but you you I, go dark. I, I do, <laughs> but I don't understand why. I okay. don't understand it. Well, um, I he's, sold his. He's not. He's not a nice person. I sold tickets for him. He had, he has seats six rows in front of us. I mean, and they're really, really good seats. And I sold them for him. Yeah. I made him a couple hundred bucks, and he was appreciative. Came over, got the money. His friend, who we've met before, his name is Mark. He's been at the tailgates. You might even have met him. And that the he, guy in the uh, cape. No. Okay. I don't believe so. Okay. But he has gone 
to over 1,600 different venues in this country seeing college sporting events. I mean, like this trip, yeah. he went to Carver for the men's and women's. He went to Kinnick. He went to Wartburg. He came from uh, Illinois State, where he was at, over 1,600 different venues. Does he have a family? He had a wife. I do know that. Yeah. yeah. I said, man, you need to write a, a book. He said, well, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. He said, but I'm more of a talker than a writer. Hello. Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning. Yeah, did you hear about the guy who said he was going to eat him a rib every day of the promotion? Yeah, he is. Oh, my gosh. And, Captain, I think you're going right along the way, too. When did that start, I, by the way? I don't know. I remember. I think this week I noticed it. Monday, Wednesday, and I had one on the last night. Man, it's a long weekend, so he'll have two or three this weekend. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, uh, gentlemen, I'm nervous about this game, by the way. Are you playing? What's that? Are you play, playing? Is that why you're nervous? <laughs> yes, I'm very nervous. So I'm going to be actually going to be running back, uh, running back, uh, pick return today for Iowa. Okay. I, yeah, my, uh, let's well, see, I have, ba I have bad knees and I have a uh, bad shoulder, so it's going to be tough today. And I'm, I'm in my 50s, so I don't know how I'm going to do, but, uh, cheer for me loud out there. Okay. okay. We'll look, look for you. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Go Hawks. Okay, so he's nervous. Are you nervous, Pat? I don't get nervous for Iowa football games. I mean, I, I want them to win, but it has nothing to do with me. I was more – nervous is not the right word. I was more thinking they might lose last week than this week. But, man, I was going through Illinois stats, and their top three receivers have 1,800 receiving yards. Iowa's – all their receivers have barely 400. Yeah, I and know. Isaiah, Isaiah Williams has 68 catches for almost 900 yards and five touchdowns. Their second receiver has over 500. He's 6'3", 200. They have way better skill players than Iowa does. Yeah, they do. So I think Iowa's going to win it with defense and special teams and home atmosphere. And I think Illinois is going to do some things today to lose the game. That's my feeling because that's what they do sometimes. And But they've also won, what, three in a row? Three out of the last, three out of the last four. They're, and Kirk brought that up. They're, maybe we're witnessing them turning the corner, and this is just another one. I mean, Brett's had a history of beating Iowa. Yeah. He did it at Wisconsin. He did it last year for Illinois. And it's going to be interesting to see. The other thing is, if the star, if Altmaier struggles, Brett won't hesitate to go to the backup, whereas Kirk does not have that luxury. No, he doesn't. I mean, Kirk wants to go to his backup. Neither one have played a snap this year. So, there's. I mean, I can see why that caller would be. Nervous. I just if it was at Illinois, I would probably be more thinking Illinois would win because I mean last year's game. I think part of the reason they won last year was because it was in Champaign. I yeah, mean, the field goal fest. I mean, God, what, that game had five field. Well, yeah, it was five field goals that game. So, but yeah, I mean, I picked Iowa to win fifteen to six, but I would not be surprised if Illinois won fifteen to six. No, that's just kind of where we are. Nope, and. Uh... Yeah, you know, a lot riding for the Hawks, obviously. and uh, A lot riding for Illinois. Yeah. They're trying to win. They're bowl eligible for the second year in a row under Bielema, and that's part of the building process. So we'll see. I mean, I just did not realize that Illinois' offense was quite as dynamic as it is until you see it in stats. And then, of course, you think Iowa could score 48 points against Indiana? No. Or 47, whatever it was for? Yeah, I don't either. So no. that, that's the that's the. But thing. I don't think they would score forty. Oh, well, I don't either. But when, that's what I'm saying. I but I, I mean, I don't think Iowa could score forty eight points against any Power Five team. <laughs> oh, well, right now you can. Right. Yeah, honestly say, you honestly say that. I mean, they scored twenty two against Rutgers, and we act like it's like <laughs> basketball on grass. Well, <laughs> well, it was like PlayStation numbers compared. To, <laughs> yeah. to some of them. I mean, they get they get the four hundred two, and people are and I get it. People are excited, but then you look and see the Illinois quarterback threw for one hundred and four more yards than Iowa had as a team, and he was their backup, and he's their backup, and he's back to being their backup. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing they both might play today. I would guess. I would guess so. I mean, Cooper's going to be a huge loss as a punt returner. My guess, though, is Illinois wasn't going to punt to him anyway. But he'll be a big loss at cornerback. It'll be interesting to see if they try to exploit Deshaun Lee. If I'm Illinois, that's what I would try to do. With the, the receiver is the strength of their team. 
I mean, that Fegan's a decent runner. They got Reggie Love now. Josh McCray's out with a broken with a neck injury. So I gave Iowa a slight advantage at running back, even though the stats are pretty similar. And that Caden Fegan, he's a big kid. He's about 230 pounds, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, it's going to – I mean, what's the point spread? Um, I think it was three and a half. I mean, so they're basically saying it's a toss-up. So that's what I'm saying, too. Yeah, so we'll see. Yeah. Weather's going to be perfect. Yep. I mean, you can't ask for a better – late November oh. weather game than this. I mean, we've seen some of these games of se- senior day where it's just freezing and just oh miserable. Yeah. But this when is Ann perfect. Caught, when Ann caught her coat on fire. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this is perfect. What's it going to be, 57? Yeah. Not very windy, sunny. No, this will be a perfect day. The weather will not be a factor. Turnovers could be a huge factor. Well, I, the one I remember is that Purdue game – five years ago or so where we had the snowstorm the night before. I remember that. And the, everything was frozen in Kinnick Stadium. Your feet were on ice the whole night, the whole game. Oh, my God. So did you go and, like, tailgate for, like, three hours before that, too? Not three hours, but for a little while. What was the weather like when we played Wisconsin in this uh, year? 2013? Do you remember? No. 2013? No. God, I well, I, here's the Yeah, because <laughs> – I got I had cancer and I went with my kid to that game and as I remember it was it was damn cold he he dra- that's the only I game they I played ever- Wisconsin usually earlier in the season uh they it varies okay they, they usually play them earlier in the year I don't remember 2013 though well that's what well, I was I, diagnosed I just remember seeing your picture with Shane and yeah you guys were way bundled up yeah and yeah, and then we yeah, he he made me go home. I've never left a game before. He made me go home. Yeah. And we were winning when uh when we left there and when I got home and turned on the television, it was like massacre. It was bad. I don't even think was that Bielema? Twenty thirteen probably. I think not wasn't he gone by then? I mean his first year was six. Was he there that when was the fake punt? Was that twenty ten? Yeah. We owe him for that. We yeah, do. Yeah, that was uh well for him it was a brilliant call. It worked perfectly. Oh, it sure and, was. Boy, did it suck did it suck the life out of that stadium. Oh my god. That was brutal. Absolutely brutal. And then I remember walking to our car afterwards and it was just dead silence around yeah. that stadium. And the Wisconsin fans were smiling and saying God, you guys, it was a gr- good game. It's not as if anybody died. <laughs> and we just yeah, shut up. looked at them with <laughs> blank stares and moved along. Yeah, that was kind of, Iowa lost that game 28-9. to nine. It was on November 2nd. Uh, the 2013 one? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I mean, it, yeah, because then they. Yeah, it was cold. Then they closed the season with three straight wins against Purdue. They beat. God, I can't remember this. They beat Michigan twenty four to twenty one. I don't even remember that. And then they beat Nebraska thirty eight to seventeen. This was Rudock. And then they got beat in the bowl game twenty one to fourteen against Odell Beckham and LSU. Yeah, I remember that one. Iowa had that stretch, let's see, it lost to Ohio State thirty four twenty four, lost to Michigan State twenty six fourteen. I'll remember it started the year losing to Jordan Lynch in Northern Illinois. Oh, yes, yes. That was a good, I mean, still you don't think they shouldn't lose. You should North, probably have beaten Jordan. But that was a good Northern Illinois team. Is he still playing? I have no, I don't believe so. I don't think he ever really made it in the NFL as a quarterback. I had, I think my first treatment then, and, and I'm legit, Shane saying, you're going home, and Bud goes. Oh, all it is is cancer. You'll be fine. <laughs> well, to think that was that was that was almost three weeks earlier than what today's game is. Yeah, and today fifty-seven degrees. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, this is going to be a great atmosphere, and so I'm looking forward to it. I'm uh, looking yeah, forward to the too. game. I don't want to have to go into Nebraska and win next week. I'd rather finish it up today. Yeah, but they could lose both these games and still win. I, I well, mean, that's true. Because the other teams are probably going to beat each other. Well, that means Nebraska needs to lose today to Wisconsin, which, which we do surpri- want to see. Which wouldn't surprise me at all. And I mean, that's at Wisconsin. But you it? also don't want to back in. you imagine if Iowa loses these next two games and has to go play Michigan or Ohio State? Well, no, you don't want to gonna be made. they're going to be made fun of under any – even if they're 10-2, yeah. there's going to be so much crap talked about Iowa – 
because people are going to bring up the Penn State game. People are going to bring up what happened in 21. It'll be – there's going to be a big – narrative about how well yeah i was the wet does any a team from the west deserve to be here they'll be they'll well be, and fair enough that's but a, that's the legit. way it's set up yeah if yeah. you win your division you deserve yeah. to be there yep now granted the divisions are divided up by geography and right now geography is much stronger on the east i'm looking forward to the big 10 network promo that's got all 18 teams on it you know where it, they have the logos pop up in the stadiums and stuff you know, that's going to have to be a longer promo now, next year. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I can't yeah. remember the last time I watched the Big Ten Network, other than just an actual game on. I just, yeah. don't, I, I just don't watch that stuff. Well, I, I don't either, except for when there's a game on. Yeah, yeah, that's the only time. I don't watch ESPN unless there's a game on. I watch sometimes Sports Center. But I mean, I went there. I watched. Let, let's see what we have last night. God, Maryland got was I, when I looked, they were losing thirty-three to thirteen to Villanova in basketball. I saw a little bit of Michigan State. Butler, Michigan State won that. Did they look better. They looked okay. Not they. They still have trouble shooting. Then I watched a little bit of the Colorado Washington State football game. But I didn't think was, Colorado get killed? It was forty-two to seven. I think at halftime. Well, they, I could get. I could, there isn't a BTN app I could get, but I could get it. BTN uh, Plus? BTN I Plus. Uh-uh. Uh, but, uh, you know, you can get it on your phone. Yep, I have you it can, on, yeah, well, on my phone. I So I tried, because I can't get in the old account. It won't It won't work. So I tried getting a new account under Jan's email. Uh-huh. Well, it still recognizes the IP address, evidently. Yeah. So I can't get in the I know. freaking account. It's annoying. And that's probably what happened to you with Peacock, yeah. is it figured out there's two IP addresses. I did see Southeast Polk won a third state. Well, at least they were winning 35 to 14 in the beginning of the fourth quarter. I assume they ended up winning. So that's three state. That would be three state, three straight state titles for Southeast Polk in football. They've kind of replaced Dowling as the yeah. powerhouse in the state right now. Williamsburg, Williamsburg won. won. Williamsburg won. That's the Iowa recruit Derek Weisskopf, who's going to play linebacker at Iowa. But for Williamsburg right now, he's playing. He was playing quarterback. He plays receiver. He plays tight. He's a good player. He's a good. He's a good prospect. And uh, we had a guy call yesterday that's said you could hear the game on FM on 106.7. Uh-huh. Yeah. You can't. Maybe you can in Williamsburg. I don't know. You can't. It's, you know, it's so we, you, nothing the here. signal doesn't come here? Not at all. I, uh-huh. and I've got a radio that gets everything. When I did at watch home. it on 121, it was not a great photo or great picture, but, you know. Yeah. I, I, you know, I was able to watch it. It was okay. Yeah. No, it's not a good picture at all. Really. Unless you stream it. Like I know people that have that streaming, they said their picture was fine. I didn't. I was just watching it from the channel. No, yeah. it would look like the 1980s. <laughs> Isn't that just yeah. yeah? Yeah, we can't watch it anymore. Uh uh-uh. We can't watch that crap. I mean, I can watch it. I don't take it oh. as serious as you guys do. Oh, I can't. Can. It's like our our girls. If there's a movie in black and white, man, they won't even consider. Oh, watching there's some it. things like I can't. I the thought of watching It's a Wonderful Life in color is so depressing. That's that's a movie that just has to be black and white. Well, Andy Griffith, same way. But they did okay. Like when I watch one of my old Warner Brothers shows, uh, they've already, even though it's in black and white. You they, mean like Bugs they, Bunny? Well, I, <laughs> like, well, I like I like Bugs. They uh, they have digitalized it, and it's as clear as as can be. Like the old uh, seventy seven Sunset Strips and stuff. It's you know, it looks like it's just a new print, but it's black and white. Yeah. Yeah, most things I would say that's true. <clears throat> yeah. But Andy Griffith episodes and It's a Wonderful Life, I prefer black and white. Just because it's kind of stuck in time. I, uh, you I, know what really killed it, other than when when uh, uh, Don Knotts left? is the next year, a Warren. He was terrible. Yeah, Jack Schreiber or whatever. Yeah. Huh? Uh, Oh uh-huh. no! That uh-huh. what's his name? What's that guy's name? What's his name? Jack Burns. Jack Burns. Well, they. I think they do. Weren't they? Uh, it seems like at the end they were sort of auditioning. I remember they had Jerry Van Dyke on the yeah. last episode. Yeah. As the bumbling sort of deputy in waiting, I think they were looking for somebody, but yeah. you just weren't going to replace. Warren was awful. Yes, he was. You weren't going. You just weren't going to replace Don. Nah, I mean, it wasn't going to happen. He made that show, and the neatest thing about that is Andy was sort of the star. But he acknowledged that that show revolved around Don Knotts. I mean, he was the reason. Didn't he win like six Emmys? 
Didn't he so, win a ton of Emmys okay, for that? So, yeah, something like that. But then, okay, so they go to his hometown, and they make a statue of him as In Barney West Fife. Virginia. Yeah, and then uh, his family was all pissed off. He had a rough upbringing, from what I read. Now, I did not like his character, Mr. Furley, in Three. I, I just that just did I didn't like the show. In which I, oh show? God, Three's, Three's Company. Company. I hated that show. I liked looking at Suzanne Summers. That didn't Orchard. do anything. That for show me. was brutal, though. The Regal Beagle. I mean, please. I didn't see enough of that. Uh, I didn't watch. either. Hate didn't you have the hot for it. Suzanne Summers though, a little bit? Uh, oh, it's just okay. Yeah, I'd watch that for like five minutes. You ever watch like, She's the Sheriff? No. <laughs> Suzanne Summers just recently passed away, didn't she? Yes. Yeah. yeah. But she was one of the first women actors in Hollywood to stand up for, the, she wanted equal pay. Yeah. I mean, no. She was she, kind of a pioneer in that And regard. she was really brilliant. Well, that's how she played the, the, the dumb one. She was nothing like that. No, she had businesses. When she got done with doing TV series, she started her own business, so yeah. you know, makeup and, and stuff. Did she have a long battle with breast cancer? For 50 years. For 50 years. Literally. Yeah. But, yeah, no, I mean, like I said, I just, I the Don Knotts character there, Mr. Furley, it just, I like the Ropers more. Remember the Ropers? Yeah. Well, I never watched How about Larry? How about Larry, the friend Larry? I didn't like the show. I watched a double episode of The Rockford Files last night because I I just wasn't feeling that good, and it was one of my favorite ones. Never send a boy king to do a man's job. God, I love that one. But it was 1979, one of the last episodes of The Rockford Files. And you could tell by the end he was not moving well. He did all his stunts. Yeah. I mean, he took a beating, man, making that series. He, I think that's why I am the way I am with arthritis. Channel 115. I do all my stunts. Yeah. Yeah. And then it goes into Kojak right after that. I'm not a – I never was a Kojak fan. Kelly Savalas? Yeah. No, I wasn't either really. I, you know what I used to like, and I don't see it anywhere, is the streets of San Francisco. It's on. Where, what channel? It's on Me TV Plus. You have to subscribe oh, not, to Friendly. I'm not, not going there. <laughs> I'm not going to take steps to watch it. Streets of San Francisco. Seven dollars a month. Yeah. Yeah. No, pass. No, no thank Hard you. Hard pass. But I used to like that. <laughs> I was always amazed at how big Carl Malden's nose was. His nose was huge. Yeah. <laughs> he looked like a kind of like a clown in W. C. Fields altogether. But what that was Michael Douglas. Like, yes. About yeah. 50 some years ago. Yeah. But, all right, back to the Hawks. Back to the Hawks. Oh, it's Saturday, though. We don't really no, have to. No, we don't go. have to. We don't yeah. really have to go anywhere. We can talk about whatever we want. How about Angel Reese? Did not suit up for uh, no, LSU. No, yes. she did. Yeah. They, did you see COVID? She got benched. Uh, and Mulkey's all sick. And she's like, you know, it might even be COVID, but I ain't getting tested. Did you hear her say that at her? Yeah. At her. Uh, post-game press conference um supposedly uh she got in a fight with another player this is what i read a newspaper account from there and Moki's not gonna air any of that yeah. i get that and i, I mean i give her respect for staying you know and yeah. then her mother got into a fight she, a cat fight she did yeah with yeah. The, with the, on well, twitter uh, no no i think in <laughs> Oh. No, it was it was on Twitter. It was on Twitter. Oh, I thought they got into it. No, already. it was on Twitter. Okay. And she said, you know, let's take this outside. How about that? Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> take it outside. I mean, you can form these all-star teams, and sometimes that can backfire. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen here, but sometimes you can have too much firepower. And you've got players that are used to being the lead role, and they have to adjust, and they never make the adjustment. So that's the fear. I mean, Is look that, at Asia, the band. When they put together, everyone yeah. thought it was going to be great, and it ended up sucking. <laughs> so, Maybe that's going to be LSU. Maybe they're going to be Asia. I don't know, but w- why would they take her out in mid-game? The first the first game, she benched her in the second half. Yeah, I don't know. Something, something must have been happening on the court that she didn't like. But I, get, I respect her for taking a stand. I mean, I mean it... it and that there was a, a you saw that it was on Twitter because I yes. the article I read led me to believe that I mean, no I it's on Twitter yeah. okay and yeah the, I read the it was a they were basically saying on Twitter let's meet face to face somewhere but that uh-huh. won't that won't happen no. and did you also see where it's a question of academics that uh, she's yeah she's below a two yeah well she was when she started she was one six at Maryland which is why they bounced her. Well, 
Has she always been at LSU below a two? I, I think so. But we don't know, though. We for, don't know for yeah, sure. I'm not sit but here that's right. what's, what's rumored yeah. to be part of the problem was her academics. Well, part of the problem, too, is her attitude. She's got a bad attitude with the team. Well, I don't know for sure. But well, according to this newspaper account I read, uh, yeah, her attitude's been a problem. But like I said, I'm not going to comment on her grades, and I don't know any of that stuff. But obviously, Kim Mulkey doesn't like something that's happening, and she took a stand. Yeah. Yeah, she said, uh, Mulkey said her old uh, angel's wardrobe was too garish. <laughs> <laughs> Mulkey's. Well, she can grab. <laughs> she grabs your attention, doesn't she? Yeah, she's something. Who, Wokey? Yeah. Well, she's a hell of a coach. Yes, she is. Whether you like her or not, you got to acknowledge that she can really coach and she can recruit. And Yep. I mean, she's won national titles at two different schools. That doesn't happen very often. No, it doesn't. And, no, but I, like I said, I think this, this team may end up not – this team has one expectation. That's to win a national title. That's a lot of pressure. Mm-hmm. I don't think the Iowa women go into the season with everyone thinking, well, if they don't win the national – title it's going to be a major disappointment i don't think they have that pressure no uh, not at all certainly not f- from the likes of me they don't yeah, yeah i don't don't expect them to get back to the final four i'd love it uh, that's the easy yeah i mean you take the field like it said i'm with you i got yeah. to be great again it was so good yeah. it was expensive yeah i mean what is expensive from a business standpoint going to the final four but it was great for page views and whatever but no i would be surprised if they made it but that's not I'm not criticizing them, but it's just it's just hard. Well, yeah, yeah and I do think they they miss Monica Cesano and McKenna Warnock. I well, figured they were going to miss them, but I, I, they miss them both. But they really miss. Caitlin has never played at Iowa without Monica Cesano. No, it's, and I think she's true. adjusting to that, and I think the players around her are adjusting to that. Well, and the other players have got to pick it up offensively, and they haven't been doing that. And Caitlin, you know, I mean, she can't. It's a team sport. You can't do it by yourself. No, no, that no, that is definitely true. I think there were times in the game, the other day, where she did maybe try to do too much. But you know, when you're as good as she is, sometimes that'll happen. Saw so Iowa soccer lost three to two to Georgia. Yes. It's still a great season God, to make it to the bad. second round of the NCAA tournament. A great season for Coach Diani and Iowa soccer. That's how you Diani, right? Yeah, that's yeah. A, but a very good season. Well, it started at Between the Two Mothers is when, uh, I don't know, about Flage or is that? I I, I'm not sure how, how to pronounce it. That's, it could yeah, be, they, yeah. That's, she's one of their other really she, good players. So you definitely team. know about grammar errors when your daughter has a 2.0 or less GPA. <laughs> that's what started it. Yeah, you yeah. hate to see that stuff aired on, aired on that's social, social media. media. Though, you know, it's... Social media is a cesspool. I it really, you know, Twitter is a cesspool, and it's getting worse. And now they have lost, just in the last 48 hours, they have lost the core of their big advertisers. And I don't think he cares. And I don't either. I don't either. I think he's got so much money that he doesn't care. Yep. They've, you name a company, and it, more than likely, they have, uh, they've dropped them. Uh, every uh, every uh, you know motion picture company, every uh, you know, IBM has dropped them, McDonald's, I, all of them. I mean, there's like there's like at last count 34, 34 companies that have uh, that have dropped them, and rightfully so. The and guy, it, the guy is he's not nice. Well, his the and, platform and, has become so political. I mean, you can almost assume anybody that has a blue check mark is a right wing conservative who's using, who wants to be on there because they think Elon's helping them own the libs. And anyone who doesn't have a check mark is a conservative, is, is a liberal who's hating the people that. But when is owning the libs going along with a Nazi? Uh, well, it, it's just about owning the libs, and it seems to be resonating with a lot of people if you continue. Although I'm not sure how much I trust these polls. I mean,. Because I look at these polls, obviously they're not calling people on their cell phones, are they? 
They're calling people on their landlines, right? No, they're calling on cell phones. Are they really? How, how do they get that information? It's a uh, automatic dial. Well, they then that's start, not that's not a good sign. They just start dialing. That's not a good sign, then, because like I said, the, the polls are killing Biden. No, I, mean, I have got, I've got, I've got calls. The thing on uh, Twitter, though, I've had problems. All mine with come on the, the last, landline. In the last two days, the thing I've had problems with is um, you try to read a story. You know, like from CNN or or whatever New York, and all of a sudden you get um, uh, the uh, McAfee uh, s- telling you you've got all this uh, these threats, these viral. Threats. I've I've had that. I've had that poo, and yeah. it's just well, how do you, how do you get rid of it? I I well, you it. get out of it. Yeah, just I got out of it, but then you go to another story, and it's, it's, but anytime I get something like from Vivek Ramaswamy, it's always on my landline. It's never on my cell phone. So, I, yeah, because I don't have. But I, no, the polls are not looking good right now. If you want Joe Biden to be reelected, it's, well, they want him to call a ceasefire, and it, I don't understand this. We're not Israel. I don't know that Netanyahu. But if I don't. Joe Biden says okay. I want you guys, uh, I want a ceasefire. But I don't think that's the reason the polls are bad. The polls are bad because of the economy. Well, see, that, well but younger people now are saying it's... Well, yeah, but, that, to, well, you know. but uh, what I'm saying, though, is I think the biggest thing is the economy. Yeah. Well, it'll always be. Yeah. But I mean... And I don't think the economy's horrible right now. Inflation's still bad, but... The Republicans don't have any solutions for inflation. No. All I heard was, "Well, you no, know, God, if we could just flip, if we could just flip the house, which they did. What have they done since they flipped the house? Nothing. 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 Trump won't do anything for inflation. They just want to get him in so they can own. Trump is part of the reason. So they can own. And COVID is a big part of the well, reason. Well, they want to get him back in so they can own the libs. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Yeah. They're not going to do it. I mean, Jim Jordan hasn't done anything. He hasn't passed a bill since he's been there. But he hates the libs and he owns the libs, and that's. What it is, yeah, you know, and but uh, you know, what do they expect Biden? To, okay, I want you guys. I, I'm calling a ceasefire. We're not Israel. We can't call a ceasefire. Well, no matter what he does, he's going to get attacked. Yeah, he's going to. He's well, either going to be too hard on Israel, too soft. They're going to attack him for anything he does. Yeah. And in fairness, just like the Democrats did when Trump was, there was nothing Trump could do that he wasn't going to get attacked. Yeah. that's where we are now. It's all about attacking the. Other tribe. That's all about attacking the Illini. Yeah, that's well. what it's about. So this game, you're saying uh, Iowa is Israel and the Illini is, is Hamas. Hamas. <laughs> God. Brett Bielema is the leader of Hamas. <laughs> I don't think he'd like that. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> no, I don't think he would like that either. Brett's a good guy. Yeah, he is. It was a good interview, man. <laughs> That was a good interview. Yeah, I've always had. I mean, I got to know Brett when I started covering the team. Um, his last year was my first year, so Brett's really not much younger than I am. And I, I mean, I was in my low, t- mid, late twenties and whatever. So we got to know each other kind of as friends. And I just always have really gotten along with him. He's a good guy. He's always been really respectful and nice to me. And there's part of me that would love to have him as the Iowa football coach. I think it would be funny. It would be fun. He's very passionate and. Uh, Really enjoyed talking to him. Yeah, yeah, in the chat room, how does anybody know what her GPA is? It's federally protected. Well, because some people share the information. Yeah, but yeah. we. But I'm saying so, I'm not, that's you guys. I'm not commenting on her GPA. Well, I don't. Know I don't know what her G- GPA is. I, yeah, all I was reading was the other mother's. And on my guess quote. is the other mother doesn't know for sure what her GPA is, but she's in a fight uh, on Twitter, so she's saying whatever she can to win. I think you know. I don't mess with academics. Injuries and academics are two things I just stay away from. Well, until it's for official you know, confirmation. Angel Reese told the... Uh, but we don't know if she yeah, did. We're we speculating. Did. We're speculating. But that's what... I didn't say that was... I said I, that's what the mother said. Yeah, but we don't know if the mother has the facts. The mother's no, probably just talking out her ass. She probably doesn't. Yeah, yeah, that's the danger in social well, media. Well, some people just want to fight people. Well, some people you know, like to talk out their for ass. For no reason. They just like to go, you know, either on Twitter or in uh, convenience stores, they just want to fight people. Yeah. So. Well, let's take it outside. How about that? <laughs> but no, monkey has got her hands full with all this star she, power. She does. She does. That's a good team, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, but it can fall apart, though. This yeah, kind of crap can make, uh, you know. Sometimes you can have too much talent. Yeah. You really can. And not here. <laughs> 
No, we rarely have had that. Pro- <laughs> well, other than the fact you had Cedric Shaw, Tavian Banks, and Tim Dwight on the I think you were talking, oh, about, talking about here. Talking, oh, here. He's talking about here. His life revolves around here. No, it really does. <laughs> I think we've got some, some old talent here. Yeah. Too old. I say, throw them out. See you later. Well, and when they had Tim and Tavian and Cedric, they all played well. They just didn't have enough around them to no, be elite. They, they were didn't. okay. They won nine games one year. They won, what, eight the other year. They were okay. They just didn't have enough. No. No. And looking back, if that, you know what? Love to have one of those guys, two of those guys on this team. We could use them. Yeah, I wonder how Tim Dwight would do as a receiver in this offense. Well, Tim, special talent. I think uh, he'd probably do all right. So we got Michigan at Maryland, eleven o'clock. That's on Fox. Michigan, um, they've had some obvious off-field issues here all year long. With and it hasn't had an effect. I no, it win. sure hasn't. I think they'll win easily. Now we're on FS, or we on? What are we on? Uh, FS1. FS1, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's basically Fox. That's basically and then is it Nebraska four-minute breaks. Nebraska's at Wisconsin. And that's on ABC at 6.30. I, don't, I have no idea who's going to win that game. I mean, I, I... Well, they're both teams have been terrible the last two weeks. Wisconsin maybe even longer than that. Yeah, I mean, if it was in Lincoln, I would definitely pick Nebraska. But since it's in Madison, I give Wisconsin a chance. But Wisconsin's off a... I mean, they've been gutted by injuries. They have. They really have. Well, kind of a little bit like Iowa lost their quarterback. And but they depend <coughs> They depend on their running backs even more than Iowa depends on its tight ends. That's for sure. As much as Iowa depends on its tight ends, when Wisconsin lost those two running backs, that was just – they just had nowhere to go. Yeah. Um, Texas at Iowa State. Now that's going to be an ed- one that Texas ha- absolutely has to win. I picked Texas, but I would not be surprised if Iowa State won. No, no, I wouldn't either. At Iowa, what State, time is that game? That's uh, seven p.m. Good. I'm going to be done with every. Whole, I, I, I want to watch that at home. Look forward to seeing that. Iowa State's a fun team to watch. Yeah, they are. Their offense is fun. That's why, like I said, I think Nate Shieldhouse is definitely somebody that Kirk should consider now Shieldhouse may say hey i'm not interested i'm not like i'm with coach campbell on iowa state but may I mean, very well said nate that. Shieldhouse's dad played football at iowa and he played football at illinois he's a big 10 guy so just because he's at iowa state doesn't give iowa no reason to go there i mean there's no gentleman's agreement that you don't mess with other co i mean I, I if i what if campbell left and iowa state wanted to make lavar woods their head coach i would hope that wouldn't happen but they have every right to try to do it. You bet. That's just how the business works. So if Kirk wanted to go after Nate Shieldhouse, I, hey, because he has done a hell of a job with Iowa State's offense this year. Let's see, Rutgers at Penn State, um, probably Penn State fairly easily. I would see Penn State winning that game like 27 to 10. There's similar like what Iowa did last week. Michigan State at Indiana. No clue. Yawn. My guess is I'll pick Indiana. There, I – I mean, but like I said, it's both those teams are spiraling. You think Tom Allen is gone? Well, yes, I do, but who knows? I mean, a lot I think will depend on who Indiana thinks they can hire. But no, he's been given a lot of time here, and they're just getting worse. And Michigan he, State, their interim guy probably won't. It depends on who wants that job. I mean, yeah, I'd be surprised if Harlan Barnett comes back, but who knows? I mean, it. I mean, Michigan State, they, they've got some pull and influence. They, I would think they'd be able to hire a pretty decent coach. Well, you'd think so. A lot of it depends on how much they're willing to spend and what have you. But, but yeah, they are, they're a team that's just spiraling right now. So that's Big Ten Network. Man, there's some bad teams in the Big Ten right yes, now. Yes, there are. Well, <laughs> okay, then the next game on Big Ten Network, Purdue at Northwestern. So that you know, I mean, I'll pick Northwestern, but would I be surprised if Purdue won? Not at all. So Braun got the yeah, deservedly so. job. Yes, I think. So Even too. if they end up going five and seven, that's still an incredible year. He's got Purdue and Illinois left. They could win both those. If, yeah. And if he goes seven and five, and I know that I don't want to upset Iowa fans, but if he goes seven and five, he's the pick over Kirk. Even at ten and two. 
because I had Iowa going ten and two and winning the West. I had Northwestern going two and ten or one and eleven. I think Braun is the deserving of Big Ten Coach of the Year. Well, we'll see. Still a lot of football to be played for for all teams, so we'll see. But even yeah. if they go six and six, I'd give it to Dave Brown. Well, he's he's done a hell of a job. Then Illinois at Iowa. That's the two thirty game. Perfect day for tailgating. Yeah, God, it is. <sighs> yeah, yes. it really is. Yeah, that'll be, that's going to be fun. And the last game already, last home game. Isn't that? It has right. been so fast. Yeah, it's felt fast to me. Yeah, for me, it's been more. I mean, because I cover the team, you don't really cover the team. No. So, but if you cover the team, it, it can get a little long at times. Yeah, I imagine. But still, football goes fast because they play I once think a week. This whole year has been going. Basketball fast. is the longest season. I mean, there's multiple games during the week, and it just goes on forever. Well, it seems like we've spent every night at Carver Hawkeye. Every we did end up going last night. Did you? That, yeah. So we've been there a lot, but then. Well, that's what you do. That's your. Yeah, it's have fun. A it's, I did. Yeah. Ann had chicken strips. And I had tenderloin. We had Rose Bowl priced beers. How, what, how much were the beers? Literally twenty nine dollars for two beers. That I mean, we get so what did you guys spend like fifty, fifty, sixty bucks on your? Yeah. Man, Iowa loves people like you. Come on yeah. in. But you know, you go out to have a drink oh, yeah. and dinner about anywhere. It's it's going to cost you that. I have never spent thirteen dollars for a beer. I just never have. Well, this was 14 and a half. Okay, I've never spent 14 and a half. I just, how many, was it 16 ounces? Yeah. How many did you have? Just one? One. You should have had like Are you three. kidding? You should have had like three. What if you would have had like three? <laughs> well, you would Who drove I you? I wouldn't. You got him like Foster Brooks or. Would, well, three would have no. knocked you out. No, I have a beer in the first. first and then half. you get home and have a little scotch. Uh, there you go. You got it. I had three beers last night at the cost of probably, well, six packs, ten bucks. So probably six bucks worth of beer last night. Yeah. I had three. Yeah. We had a tenderloin, uh, uh, or not a tenderloin, a uh, McRib, and Jan got uh, chicken nuggets. And then I got a drink, fries Dared for the dream. dog. I think it was like twenty six dollars. I'd rather eat the tenderloin at the game than a McRib. <laughs> and I don't like I don't like the, I don't haters. like the tenderloins at the games either because it just reminds me of one of those things you can open up a bag and put it in a microwave. Haters. You know, no. I got to tell you, and a couple of years ago they had uh, Frank's hot sauce there that you could put on the tenderloins. Man, were those good. It really was delicious. That McRib uh, looked like I ate at Joseph's compared to Cheddar's yesterday. <laughs> I've had one McRib in my life, and I'm just like, what am I eating here? What is this? Oh, it's All it is is the ground up pork. processed pork. Yeah, it's pork. <laughs> well, what's wrong with pork? I love I'm pork. supporting the ag community in this state. I've it's, got two pork chops sitting in my refrigerator right now, Iowa chops that I'll eat. McRibs are teeth and tails. They're and not buttholes. They're not buttholes. Brains. They're not brains oh. and buttholes. Actually, I've... Which would be a great morning. Good band. Show. Brains and buttholes. I would listen to that as a morning show. But no, actually, I have three. I have two <laughs> Iowa chops, and I have... What a, I was. I ordered, I got it yesterday, but then I just... You know those stuffed pork chops hy V has? Like yeah. the stuff with rice and stuff? Yeah. I have one of those. I'll have that tonight. I got it last night for dinner, but I just didn't... I couldn't bring myself to eat it. I tend to not like fat pork chops. I like skinny I, so ones. So do I. I like fat ones if I'm doing it on the grill. Those are better. But no, no that'd I, be better. Skinnier ones are easier to cook. And like what I like to do with pork chops is I like to bake them, then put them on the burner on the stove top, and then pour cream of mushroom sauce on them and saute them in the cream of mushroom and eat that with white rice. That was one of my mom's specialties. Yeah. But she'd always use thinner pork chops. The problem is if you live alone like I do. Those those packages are thin. They come in like packages of like seven or eight for like ten bucks. Yes. I don't need that. Or ten for you can't, twelve. I you, I'd love to be able to get two or three little skinny ones by themselves, but they just don't package them that way. That's why I no, end up they getting, don't. And the thing with the bigger ones, you just got to cook them slow to make sure they don't burn on the outside. But oh, I love mushroom with mushroom sauce with pork chops. It's really good. And it's no. got this. Well, we have like three diff three different. Um, Pork chops recipes that Ann uses. One is their sage pork chops. 
Oh my God, those are so good. Do you ever do the ones with apple with um, apples? Don't think so. Yeah, there's this really good. Well, recipe. the pork and apple sauce is kind of a thing. Well, there's this one where you can cut up apples, and I've done it one time. It was not that was more me though. My mom could have done it, but I just. Uh, but it, it, it was good. But I just like a good pork chop on the grill too, with Lowry's and salt and pepper. Yum. No, no, it's good. Yeah. But McRibs, please. And no like a Lowry's. Hater. Oh, I love Lowry's. Oh, I love Lowry's salt on steak. That's chicken. what we used to put on the uh, roast beef. Yeah, absolutely. And loves. And French fries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely. And loves. you'd uh, put some on the Lumburger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lumburger. But Lowry's on that, chicken, that pork, and steak. That was the loose steak. meat, right? Yeah. Lumburger. Yeah. That was never my See, favorite. now I know I'm back because I'm hungry. And yesterday I was never hungry. Yeah. Just never had any appetite. What did you get the shot for? Flu, I got the flu shot and the COVID shot back together on Wednesday. <coughs> and I just, yesterday, I was just, or no, yeah, no, it was Thursday. I got them on Thursday at about 6 o'clock. And then yesterday, I was just kind of in a, a zombie all day. Yeah. No appetite, tired. I was beautiful out. I normally would have gone for a walk, but I just couldn't bring myself to do anything. So I need to get my sixth COVID shot. This is my sixth one, yes. And... uh Going to get the RSV shot. And I'm sure right. there's people listening probably rolling their eyes at us saying so we're woke. gullible sheep. I didn't get it. I, I got my COVID shot, and I think I've had six. And I didn't I've had it. six. I've had nothing. I mean, it didn't affect me at all. When I get the flu shot, I might get a little. I might get. And we all could sniffles. get COVID in the flu, and that's not the purpose of vaccinations. Yeah. You have to keep no. saying it over and over to the yeah. anti-vaxxers. It doesn't you, prevent you from getting it. It prevents you from dying. Yeah. Like three people I know who died of COVID, two of them under the age of 60. So all your yeah. theories and your conspiracies and your right. your deep state owning you and putting microchips and all that stuff. Can Do you know be, something? You they know at, all, all about you anyway. If you you look at the Kennedys like uh, John F. Kennedy and Robert Kennedy, and then you look at Robert Kennedy Jr., that guy is ugly. <laughs> I mean, he he makes these facial expressions. He's in good shape, it's though. Like, yeah, he guy, is. Isn't he almost 70 years old? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's but he, in, oh no, his body's in good shape. But I guess and I'm know. not saying he, he he's ugly person, but he just makes these ugly faces. And yet he's got a strong following. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. going to factor in this election. Ah, uh, the whole thing is just all effed up. Yeah, we yes. got, you know, it really is. The whole country's effed up. Part of me from is, I guess I don't know what how to. I, there is part of me that would is curious to see how. It would be with a president in jail. Can you imagine, like, Trump running the country from prison? Well, what's his name? Like De- LaRouche. L- Lyndon, Lyndon LaRouche. LaRouche. But he's not going to go to prison. He, but he ran, and he got donations, and he was in prison. Yeah, I remember. And, and people voted for him, and the guy was and, – and not just ran once. How many times did yeah, the guy run? Yeah, he did. I don't and he know, kept but getting he donations. Yeah. I don't think Trump will ever go to prison, though. No. Probably not. No. And to be honest with you, as a former president, he probably shouldn't. Now, if there's video of him killing somebody, I know his worshippers would justify it, but then that's that different. Guy had a no, that, that guy was, you know, he was deep state. Uh, no, what they'd say is uh, AI. He yeah, didn't, would not, never do that. That's fake. It's not real. I don't think they'd say he would never do that. They might say, say AI, AI, yeah. I don't think they'd go out and limit and say he'd never do I get a kick, though, where a lot of his worshipers, that was Antifa and the FBI on January 6th, and then well, then on the other breath, they're like, Trump's going to pardon all those people when he becomes president. Why would he pardon Antifa and the FBI then? I mean, I... Listen, that's what the... I can't remember his name now. The congressman is questioning uh, uh, Christopher Wray and, go, and, and talking about, didn't you guys run a bus and why weren't you... In on the thing and what, Ray, that Troy Nils or whatever. Yeah, and Ray's going. You know what the hell are you talking about? Freaks. You know, I mean Ray. He, he said later to uh, one of the news media, he said, I was, in, "I was embarrassed to be questioned by the guy." Yeah, I liked it when he was like, "Yeah, I don't spend much time on quit Twitter." And Marjorie, Taylor, yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene was like, she didn't believe him. I mean, yeah. It's just funny watching. Oh, the sure head. you do. It's just fun watch. Funny watching the F, head of the FBI have to deal with some. Crap I don't even, I don't know what to, know what to call her. I mean, she's just a clown. She is. I'd say the same thing if she was pushing left wing narratives the way she acts. She's just a complete clown. Okay, but what if she made the perfect pork chop, just like your mom did? 
Well, that wouldn't Which have I, any bearing. I, my opinion would not change. But would you eat the pork chop? Um, I, I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> What if she took a shine to you? Yeah. No, I don't think uh, she would. Take, take her out to Chatters? God, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say, <laughs> your mouth is gone. Why don't you try to eat this? I'm on a date with Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> I just think it's funny how she shames so many other people for their appearances. And look at her. Although Trump does the same thing. I must, I've yeah. never spent more than a second thinking about her. She's so stupid that it's just hardly even on my radar. Well, it's, uh, there's oh, a, so I mean, stupid. that questioning of uh, Christopher Ray was absolutely ridiculous. And then yet there's people on Twitter, that's the a patriot that I love. I love Mar. She's a patriot. She's, she's taking yeah, down the deep state. That was embarrassing. I mean, it, seriously, as an American, not as a Democrat or anything, I looked at that. No, I agree I with you, but a lot of people don't. A lot of people yeah, think she was being the ultimate patriot. Well, see, that's where. I mean, a lot of people think Ashley Babbitt was the ultimate patriot, and that, that the guy that shot her, killed her, should be put in jail. And I, it's just, I don't know how that's we got. That's why to, I have given up worrying about what people think. I don't know there how we know. got to this. Well, I know how we got to this point. Obama, Trump, social media. Yeah. That's where And I'm not blaming Obama. Obama caused a lot of resentment for eight years. Yeah, because he was black. Well, that and a lot of people didn't like the, some of his policies and whatever. But those three things, Obama, Trump, yeah. social media, that's why we are where we are. And your true patriot is P.J. Fleck having to go into Ohio State today. What yeah. do you see? Um, I see a loss. 31 to 10. Yeah, I mean, Ohio State's one of these teams where you, sometimes when you think they're going to blow somebody out, they maybe just win by a couple touchdowns. I. I I would see yeah I could see a, a like a thirty five to seven thirty eight to ten type game yeah oh you missed it what uh, I'll be back I'll back up my Minnesota story. what are they they have five wins yeah they might they might not make a bowl game uh so I close with Wisconsin Hi. like her <laughs> it's like Tammy Faye came back to life oh who is it. <laughs> I have no you idea. You can't see it on oh, there. She doesn't look good. Oh. You can't. It's over no, on it's here. On I Steve's. backed up the screen. That ain't good. Yeah. That's not a good way to end the show. Doesn't she look like Tammy Faye? Look at us shaming people <laughs> for their like appearance. She looks like Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> how, yeah. about, how about us shaming people for their appearance? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't get a kick out of that. <laughs> All right. Is, is that more ironic or, hip well, or, she, or hypocritical? Maybe she'd take off some of the makeup. <laughs> Let's go, Hawks. Let's yeah, go, Hawks. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Yeah, let's go, Hawks. Molly Suter is next. Enjoy the weather. It's almost, Boy, this is about it, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, there's going to be like highs in the low 30s next I week, mean, isn't it? it? there's really some problem with climate change if, if this isn't it. No. So. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy the game. Let's go, Hawks. Molly Suter's coming right now. <laughs>